Welcome to The Third Degree. My name is Dr. Tony Costa, and I'm here with my friend, Pastor Sule Prince, and we have a special guest with us today, Sandra Solomon. Welcome to The Third Degree, Sandra. Thank you. It's an honor for me to be here. Sandra, you are a former Muslim, and now you are a uh, professing Christian. And can you tell us a little bit about how you went from being a Muslim to becoming a Christian, and what exactly uh, attracted you to Christianity? Okay, uh, leaving Islam, it's not an easy thing because uh, they brainwash us since we're young about the message of Tawheed, the oneness of God. And all the information that we got about Christians from the Quran, from the teaching, as I lived in Saudi Arabia, there's no Bibles, there's no, we don't, uh, there's no Christians to, to deal with. And, um, but when I start questioning Quran and uh, Muhammad and then I wanted to submit to Islam, I start to rebel against it. I saw the character of the God of Islam, and I uh, analyze it because uh, I used to love psychology a lot, mm -hmm. and start to uh, criticize the Quran from the psychological point of view. And I felt there's no like this book; it could not be a revelation from God. Uh, the fact that ordering us it's full of hate, uh, especially for women, uh, ordering men to beat their wives, to be, to uh, you know all this stuff, oppression for women. It makes me start question and rebel against it. And I faced so much uh, persecution since I was like 16. I was kicked out from school many times. The fact that I, I was um, rebelling, questioning uh, the Quran, and they don't want me to question. Mm. Because in Islam, you're not allowed to question. Mm. You're allowed to submit blindly. So years later, after I left uh, Saudi Arabia, after I gained my divorce, it was hard for me as well. Uh, because being a divorce is a shameful thing because the culture is based on shame and it's like an honor mm -hmm. to not to be divorced and all that. So I got my child with me. I came to Canada uh, to for my freedom. I uh, gained my freedom. Uh, years later, I, w I became like more of a spiritual person. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to believe in any religion. Mm -hmm. uh, Christianity for me, it was something the last thing I will think about it, because regardless, even when we leave Islam, we still believe in the oneness of God. And what they teach us in Islam, as the, according to the Quran and the teaching of uh, Muhammad, that, you know, the Christian are in they worship three gods. And uh, they take uh, Isa, his name is Isa ibn Maryam, Isa, the son of Mary. Uh, he's just a prophet, like any other prophet. So it stays, all these information, it will stay with us in our, our subconscious. Mm -hmm. Even if we leave uh, Islam, we don't jump right away to Christianity. Mm -hmm. It will be still far to think about. Uh, because, again, it's uh, the devil, the satanic spirit that they want to keep people away from the true message. Years later, I uh, find myself to become more spiritual. I started to do many meditations questioning myself, who am I, what, what's my purpose in this life? It couldn't be fair for evil people to have the same destiny as the righteous people. Mm -hmm. It couldn't be fair as Muhammad, what he did, all the killing and the rape and all the terror that he did, he can, his destiny would be the same destiny of a good person who never commits any terror or any attack or any, um, he was a loving mm -hmm. person or a good person. Mm -hmm. Right. Or... The people who's like, you know, I got, you know, uh, physically abused a lot. My brother used to um, physically abuse me. He uh, many times strangled, like wants to kill me uh, as an honor killing. The fact I refused to wear the hijab. That's so what your personal brother When did I was you. my personal brother, he meant many times attempted to murder me, to kill me. Uh, if it wasn't for my grandmother, I would be killed by now. Just because I refused to wear the hijab. Anyway, when I came to Canada, I have the relief for myself to think and uh, freedom from Sharia law, secular country. Uh, there is no uh, Sharia law. We're not under Sharia law constitution. So um, at a time where I was uh, flipping on YouTube, the story of Nujud Ali, she's a Yemeni girl. She was nine years old. When they forced her into a marriage, yes. she at was nine, raped at, at nine, nine years, years old. old. Yeah. And uh, they forced her into the marriage. She was raped for weeks until she managed to run away from the husband. And uh, after that, 
I asked God when I saw their story and I'm like struggling spiritually. I, I prayed hard, like I didn't know God, who's God. Like I'm just praying for these little girls, for what's going on with the world. Like always a question to myself, there's something going on with the human being in general, like uh, our like the nature of uh, why there's evil, why there's good and evil, mm -hmm. and how can we be righteous, and how can I connect with God uh, through, not through book, I don't want it to read a book. It never come my, across my mind to read uh, the Bible or go to any church or anything. I just wanted to connect with God in a personal uh, level, mm -hmm. in a spiritual way. I always believed that there is a God, and He's a loving God, but uh, I, I wanted to have a spiritual relationship with Him. Okay. So when I prayed hard, I saw so many visions, and all of a sudden I'm thinking about the Messiah, al Masih, in Arabic. All of a sudden I'm thinking of the Messiah, the Messiah, and I saw visions, Urshalim, the heavenly Urshalim, and I saw uh, like the uh, the devil in the Kaaba, and uh, how many killing in the Middle East, and many people are dying, and I saw the light, and uh, like I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. Something is telling me read the Bible. All of a sudden, I'm dreaming about the Messiah, Jesus. I'm thinking of the Messiah. I didn't even know that his name is Yeshua in Arabic, wow. which is Jesus. I'm thinking uh, his name is in the Quran, Al-Masih, the Messiah. Hmm. So anyway, I went to the church. I got, I, it was a spiritual battle for like a three nights I, because I never saw uh, uh, visions. I never, uh, uh, this is something totally new to me. Okay. And uh, anyway, uh, I went to the church. I got the whole Bible. I read the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation, wow. all in three weeks. Wow. Wow. As I'm reading the book, I feel the, the presence of the Holy Spirit. I'm understanding the book. I'm understanding the message. As long as I'm reading from the Old Testament, as a Palestinian, it was the first time in my life I cried the Jews. We never, we always curse them. Wow. And we ask Allah to kill them all and wipe them all as a Palestinian. So first time. Yeah, you ask who? Who are you asking to wipe out the Jews? The the Allah, the God of Islam. And that's what you're it. commanded to do. Yes, that? this oh. is something that we must hate the Jews. Um, it's being they're being cursed, and they been they are filthy, as all the infidels. And that's what you were taught. This is what we were being taught since we're young, and oh. we have to do mm. jihad and kill them. So I read the whole Bible when I came across the New Testament, and I'm starting to read the story of Jesus. His name is Yeshua in Arabic. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm reading uh, the sermon in the mountain when he said, love your enemy, pray for the one who persecutes you. When he said, and you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. Wow. And when he said as well, so many things teaching about love mm. and peace and as well as how he treat the women, yes. especially, mm -hmm. especially the women. Uh, Jesus, how he li uh, liberates women from the oppression of religion, from the chains. He, he broke the chains mm -hmm. and he gave that woman when they wanted to stone her. Uh, they, he said, whoever never commits any sin, let them cast their stone first. Mm -hmm. That was like, that's the true liberation. That's he give her life. And it's about like, I understand the message of the whole Bible is the message of salvation. Mm -hmm. And when he said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. He said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follow me she will never walk in the darkness. Oh. And that's exactly what I was. I was in the darkness. And then when I met the Messiah, the true Jesus, Yeshua, Mashiach, his name is salvation. God saved. Mm -hmm. And I believe that he's Lord of Lord and King of King. And I bow down on my knees and I give my life to him. The fourth week after I finished the Bible, what stunning me the most when I went to the church the leader of that church, he said to me, take the Bible, read it all. If you have any question, we're here to answer. That was to me a big thing because in Islam, when I was in school, they won't allow me to question. They didn't let me question. Mm -hmm. But I felt the confidence in his faith. That's what makes me more curious to know what, what's all this confidence coming from. It's the belief and the faith that... Uh, bring many people to Christ and also the love and the main thing is the salvation because as a human I know that what's going on in the world and why people commit all these evil acts why many people are killing in the name of Allah and Jesus said this he said the time will come and they will kill you thinking they're doing God 
favor mm -hmm. because and they will do this to you because they don't know the father they don't know me oh. and that we are now living the time the fulfillment of what jesus said about the time of the persecution and why people doing all these evil acts in the name of satan because they don't know the true one loving god and that's another thing it wasn't hard for me to understand the trinity and the one a true message of tawhid actually it's in the bible yeah. Not in the Quran. <laughs> Not in the Quran. Sandra. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. I'm Thank so you happy. so much. Thank you. Thank you.